Hey everybody, I'm Mark Heaps. So, an exciting feature that was uh, an added convenience to Photoshop CS5 was the fact that you can now grab files from the desktop and drag them straight into the canvas. This adds them as a smart object after you hit return. So I thought for Photoshop's 20th birthday we could throw them a concert and have a big party. And of course, I'm going to bring my daughter along. She's one years old, so nobody tell her mother. Okay, so I want to get her to dance along with the crowd, right? And the feature that they've added, which is really cool, is underneath Edit called Puppet Warp. Now when we choose this, you'll see that a mesh gets added around her silhouette. We can control the density of that mesh by choosing fewer points, normal, or more points. I'm going to choose fewer points just so you guys can see a little bit easier what I'm doing. As we click inside the mesh, we're adding pins to areas inside of that silhouette. You can also choose the depth of each pin if you want something to move behind or in front of a pin. Now I'm going to add one last pin to her head, carefully, and click and hold on that last one so I can move her back and forth. Check it out, she's dancing with the crowd. Now when you're done, hit return, and that transformation and distortion has been applied permanently. Now, imagine if you did that multiple times, over multiple layers, and you did it for each of the frames. Well, then you could have an animated sequence, and that would be pretty fun. So. I'm going to go ahead and invite uh, myself out to come play some music to celebrate Photoshop's 20th birthday. And uh, I'll let you guys enjoy while I finish up turning on these frames. 